Lawyers need to get every step right to get the firm in order. Here at Lawcus, we establish a platform that enables you to do this remotely, anytime, anywhere. So let's step right into it. Number one, dashboards and reports. When you log in, you immediately see the Lawcus dashboard. Here you witness three segments, the top bar, the sidebar menu, and the main window. Before we go any further, we'd like to include that Lawcus allows you to customize the main window as you see fit. Just select the panels and choose to keep or hide them. Even rearrange or resize the layout. Now back to business. Firstly, the top bar, which consists of the search bar to access uploads. A timer specifically to track your time spent on matters. And others like new matter, invoices, expenses, etc., which can be added through the plus icon. Do not forget the notification icon to keep things in check regularly. To the left, we have the sidebar menu, under which a list of the most recent matters are showcased. Finally, we have the main window, which contains a series of panels that portrays overall performance of your practice. The date range drop-down list lays out the period for the graph, year, quarter, week, and so on, to gauge performance through data for said period. Practice performance metrics shows you the number of hours worked as against your target number of hours and also your actual earnings based on your invoicing as against your target. The window also shows today's agenda to display a list of tasks and meetings for the day, lead trends to see how successful you've been in converting leads, conversion rate shown through data as a line graph and also as a breakup of that data by lead source or by practice area. Top referrers shows the top referrers for the selected, the number of leads referred and the percentage value. You can also view important financial reports from the dashboard. With our Advanced Reports Builder, you get to create custom tabular reports based on parameters and fields. Reports for all aspects from accounts receivable to trust account ledgers are available. And that's our dashboard. Number two, CRM and client intake. Lawcus allows you to keep track of various aspects of your leads. You can automate lead entry via intake forms or Zapier. Once added, Lawkiss will display the Manage Lead screen in which you can fill in all the details of the potential client and matter and save the entry. Now, how do you mark a lead as a converted lead, you ask? Once you have converted the lead into a client, you convert the lead entry into a matter entry by clicking on Leads in the sidebar menu. And then select the lead you want to mark as converted. Whereas Lead to Matter is taken care of by the Convert to Matter button. Enter client details and finally press the convert button to convert the entry. You also have the did not hire option on top, the add notes section down below, besides which you see the send intake forms section and the option to send e-signature requests, all on the same layout. Number three, matters. To add a new matter entry, go to matters in the left sidebar and press the add matter button. You can also add a new matter from any screen by clicking on the plus button. Next, we will create tags for matters. To clarify, tags are characteristic keywords that you assign to distinguish and make access easy when searched. Well, you can add these tags while creating the new matter itself or anytime later by editing matter details. Click on matters in the left sidebar and matter card to edit details. Finally, click update. To reopen a matter from the Closed Matters list, select Matters link, More Actions, and Closed Matters. Here you'll find the matter you would like to reopen. Alternatively, you can view your matters using a list view. To switch to list view, click on the list view icon at the top right of the matters screen. Number four, contacts. Let's now set up your contacts. Click contacts on the left sidebar here and choose add person or company. Then fill in the required details and save. Now to create tags for your contacts. Click on Tags, search for a tag and choose one or create your own and hit Enter. Then simply create or update contact. Adding a new person or company is similar. If you want to create matters and skip the lead and convert execution, then simply create contacts and add matter. 
Number five, client portal. You can create a document from a template. Upload document or file. Once uploaded, you can share with clients through the portal. You can also share the matter with a client. You can securely share your documents, images, video, audio, etc. once you've invited the client to the portal. For that, go to Matters, click on the matter you've shared with the client, and repeat the same steps as before. On Quick Actions, you can click on Add Time to add a new time entry. Number six, Tasks and Calendar. To make your day-to-day -day efficient, you can integrate your calendar. Click on the profile picture at the top right. Go to Settings, Apps and Integrations. Here you'll find Email and Calendar. Press the Enable button and sign into your account. Now you can schedule all your events. The calendars for all users will display in the list, including team calendars if applicable. To add a new task, click on Tasks in the left sidebar. Type a name for the task and choose desired options. Once done, press the Add button to add to your list of tasks. Number seven, billing. Here we'll add a new time entry and expense. For that, choose respective options from the left sidebar, time or expense, then fill the form and click on Save. You can also get some assistance from QuickBooks. Integrating your Locus account with QuickBooks eases your bookkeeping and accounting needs. For all expenses like tax, flat fees, hours, sales, and time entries. Now for trust payments, go to Transactions Accounts and click on Trust Account. Here, click on Deposit, enter all the details, and hit Save. When it comes to invoice, we offer two ways. First, using Matter. Choose the matter you want to create an invoice for and just scroll down to the Financial Info section to create an invoice. And the second method is using Invoice tab. Go to New Invoice and select a matter and client. Then finally locate and click the Add Uninvoiced Activity. Now, how to batch or bulk invoice as this saves precious time. We offer two options here as well. First, using the dashboard. Locate the Work in Progress box and click to create invoice. Choose the multiple unbilled time entries you'd like and click Next. Edit, Save, and Next. Apply a saved tax percentage by checking the required checkbox or enter a different percentage and click Next. Here you enter the issue and due date. Once done, click Create. And the second way is to click on the Invoices tab followed by Billable Clients and repeat the remaining steps just like before. And under Create Invoice, you can send emails. You can choose your recipient by clicking one of the three Add Recipient links, Recipient, CC, or BCC, including Payment Link for the client if needed. Later, get the Invoice link, and your clients can pay on this link here. All the tasks, all the calendar events show up here. You can link My Calendar here to link events as well. Number eight, automation, workflows, and intake forms. And finally, let's have a look at the various Locus automation tools. We have workflows, intake forms, document templates, and email template automations. Under email templates, you have the option to create canned responses for your email. Click on new HTML or new text template based on your preference or you can customize the available templates according to your needs. Here you can drag and drop various elements and add merge tags such as event fields, contact fields, and more. Next, we have intake forms and document templates. Their creation processes are very similar to that of email templates. Use our pre-filled forms and customize or create your own from scratch. Our intake forms also have conditional logic. This allows you to go to a page based on an answer, so the intake form won't ask a question that's not relevant to your client. Now moving on to workflow automation. With this, you can automate processes like sending emails or texts to clients. Let's take this workflow for example, new lead intake form. This is built to create a new lead whenever an intake form is submitted. And in the first step of every workflow, you'll have the entry rules, under which you can add conditions based on your criteria. 
Just like the entry rules, you also have the exit rules to define when a workflow ends. Back to the workflow. Once the lead is created, it flows to the next pipeline instruction and creates a document. Next, it automatically creates an invoice. And lastly, sends an email and text to the client. You can also add a time delay condition in order to make it a drip campaign. Similarly, another condition helps you to create and assign tasks. All these conditions present here can be easily added to build or customize your workflows. Now that we're done with automation, you're all set to use Locus and its features. To know more about Locus, schedule a demo with us or join our Facebook group with endless resources to learn how attorneys maximize efficiency and profitability with us.